Uh, here I am on my Rockwood 2608 BS trailer top, made by Forest River. This is the back side where the ladder comes up, and then we can look forward towards the front of the camper. So the door side is over here on the right. And as you can see, my trailer came pre-wired uh, for solar. And so I would like to add a solar panel up here, uh, but I've been looking at all kinds of videos trying to figure out if I'm gonna put a screw through this roof, I better do it right. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this and I have come up with the solution. Number one point to make, go to the manufacturer, ask them for a map of your roof. They will provide it. In this case, I uh, called up uh, Rockwood and uh, within a few minutes, I had PDF files in my inbox uh, showing me exactly every detail up here as far as where the seams are, where the struts are, where the wiring comes up, uh, everything. And uh, in my case, for this 2608 BS, um, because this is, well, I don't know if it's because, but you would think uh, this is pre-wired for solar, that maybe it's already set up to have some solar panels up here. And indeed, in my VIN number range, it is. And so right in front of the ladder here, uh, going towards uh, the, the plug, the pre-wiring for the solar, panels going down into the into the uh, trailer um, it's all set up in here so the next question was well how do I screw it down and uh, the best way to take care of this is to either screw it directly to the roof which means if you have to change a solar panel generally you're going to have to unscrew it from the roof uh, I didn't want to do that I wanted to have screws in the roof one time and so therefore I looked at the drawings on this particular trailer and again I think Rockwoods and maybe others Flagstaff uh, have very similar things is that there are backer plates in this roof and there's steel I think they're 20 gauge steel backer plates uh, that are already built into the roof which means all I need is sheet metal screws to screw this thing down and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate those backer plates just like I did for my TV uh, and I'm going to use a magnet. And so I'm going to go ahead and mark the roof and let's see where the backer plates are. Okay, so what I have here is a magnet, relatively strong magnet, and uh, some tape. And what I'm going to do is with a Sharpie, I'm going to locate the corners of the backer plates just based on the magnet. That's all I got to do is slide it around and whoop, there it is right there. So I think that the backer plate edge of it is about right here. I'm going to go forward and get off of the backer plate. corner is about right here. Yep. I think the corner is right there of the backer plate. And if you look at the drawing, it does tell you how big the backer plate is, but we're going to find out. I already have a line here because I was dragging this magnet around. Uh, let's see. So it looks like it's about right here. And I can uh, double check that all the way back. And we'll see how, how far back this thing goes. Wow, it goes way back here, way farther than I need. There is another backer plate here under the ladder, because that's what the ladder is attached into. But I'm going to uh, at least put it back here. There's a backer 
Berkeley right there. I'm going to mark it back here. This is a corner. And this is a corner. There you go. That's one of them. I think what I'm going to do is put some tape on the roof uh, so that we can see. So now what I've done is I've actually marked where these backer plates are and I uh, verified this with a magnet. I believe the backer plates are probably a half inch wider on either side here uh, but this gives me a good idea and by the way in my trailer they don't stop here they actually go all the way to the back but I'm not going to do that I'm not going to use that space uh, but what I am going to do now is lay down some uh, strut, super strut, and I'm going to mount that to the trailer roof first. And that way I can mount solar panels, change them, rotate them, do whatever I need to do uh, without unscrewing from the roof again. So the next step is just to kind of get an idea of, of where these will sit up here. So these are the super struts that I'm going to put on up here. And I'm going to try to get them into a, uh, a location that gives me room when I come up uh, on the ladder to get around the solar panels. I am going to be adding a tilt mount so you'll be able to tilt the solar panels as well once they're up. And I think my tilt mount brackets require me to have about 25 and a half uh, between the center of each strut. That's 26 and a half. I could actually uh, move this one over a little bit and still make it into the into the uh, backer plate. That's 26. A little bit further. Uh, try to get this lined up so as we can see here I can actually go out further than that this is actually about perfect of where the struts should be positioned in order to uh, mount uh, mount the solar panel tilting mechanism and so we'll be able to, depending on how I put this together, we'll be able to tilt the solar panels this way. Or if we want, we can tip them this way and uh, make some adjustments. And what I'm using on these strut channels are these uh, nuts that go inside here. If I can get one out. I don't know what this is called, but it's a nut that when you rotate it in here, you can put it where you need it, turn it, and it sits in there. And now I can slide this back and forth uh, and have it end up wherever I need to uh, tie it down uh, to the tilt system that's going to be mounted underneath the, the solar panel. So I think I'm going to move forward and try to get these super struts in place. And uh, let's see if we can make that work. Okay. Well, I've got it all situated. This is exactly where the uh, brackets are going to go. Got them all squared up. And then the cross members here go to the tilt system for the, uh, that'll be attached to the solar panels. Uh, and then we're close enough here for our pre-wiring. We'll be able to come right up underneath there plug right in and no wires will be exposed or if they are just very little bit so no flapping wires up here so uh, that's it I think the next step now is to get a drill 
and we're gonna pre-drill each hole. I'm gonna do a hole every 12 inches only because I'm using some smaller, I think number 10 sheet metal screws, uh, self-tapping. And, uh, but you know what, more is better. And hopefully it'll keep this thing down with some big uh, washers on top of that. So we went ahead and marked all those. So our next step now is to uh, get some caulking up here, a drill, uh, my impact screwdriver, and uh, let's get these rails mounted. Okay, so I uh, think we have the uh, struts laid out. We haven't attached them yet. That's the next thing is to attach these. I have the crossbars, which is the bottom of the tilt kit for the solar panels. And I'm just checking to make sure that center of this hole to the center of that hole, you know, I have the ability to mount this on uh, easy. It's going to fit. And again, as I mentioned, I have these nuts under here. And once we find the right position for that, we'll put some quarter 20s down right there, hold everything together. So my next uh, feat is I'm going to clear all this stuff off. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting in the struts. One thing I want to make sure that that I tell you is that um, I'm using this uh, ultra sealant self-leveling uh, by Dicor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole, pre-drill it, because I don't want the wood underneath to splinter before I go into the metal. Uh, I'm going to then put some of this self-leveling sealant over the whole hole, put the screw in, and then I'll go ahead and put leveling uh, this uh, caulking over that as well. So the whole thing will become completely waterproof. And uh, I initially thought that I would use uh, these uh, self-tapping screws, uh, number 12 by one. And as I'm looking at this, and these struts are pretty big, I'm thinking that maybe I need something a little beefier. So I just went down and I got uh, some quarter inch, one and a quarter inch length. That gives me a full inch of threads to go down through the, uh, the plate that's under here. Uh, and I'll feel much better with these things holding down this whole thing because as I'm driving down the road, I'm going to have some wind coming underneath the panels and I don't want them to end up loosening anything so I think this will this will be good so uh, let's move on to getting these struts put down uh, and see how it goes all right here we go with the first first hole I got my caulking ready I got my nice uh, quarter inch screw self tapping got that all ready and uh, a nut driver so when I'm done, I can drive that in there with the drill, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pre-drill this hole. Okay. So the hole has been pre-drilled, and now we're gonna put the screw in, hopefully. But before I do, we're going to put a little of the caulking in here. Just fill the hole. You can never have overkill on this stuff, for sure. Gotta get the uh, washer underneath and now we'll go ahead and try to get this guy down in there first screw in and then on top of that we will Put some more of this self-leveling stuff over the top. And there it is, waterproofed, ready to go. 
there's the first one and again as far as I'm concerned never too much of the uh, caulking never too much all right here we go That'll do it. Now that we have uh, this first set down, I think we're in good shape. We'll let that dry a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and work on the the, uh, the next side. That's all there is to it. Rails are on tight. Screws are protected. Holes that were drilled are filled with putty. And uh, I guess that's it for the rails. Once the rails are on, the rest is pretty easy. I think what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and try to get these cross rails on. And once they're on, then we can bring the solar panel up and we'll put those on. I'm not going to hook it up, and you got to remember this. Since I don't have a controller yet, um, you don't want to be connecting the solar panels to the wiring downstairs because as soon as the solar panels are up here, they're going to start generating electricity, and that's probably not a good thing. Uh, and so I will keep this unplugged until I've got the controller installed. Uh, so there you go. On to the next part. Okay, now I have uh, the cross members here. And I got some uh, bolts. And I'm going to use a washer, a lock, uh, so that when this baby goes in here, oops, I want to make sure that it's nice and tight and it's not going to loosen up so we're just going to put them in hand tight here because that lets me still move them around It's going to look like I've got them somewhat tightened down. I want to do the rest with a ratchet. Uh, but the nice thing about this system is that. I can pull these screws out and because the other ones are in, they're not totally in, I can go like this now. And I'm going to put these in uh, for good. These are going to be my tilt side for now. So, in order to 
tip this up. We take these screws out. And we have these brackets here that can go in. And so if I were to Tilt it. And tilt it this way. So, and maybe uh, what could have been put on here instead of just nuts is uh, maybe put some uh, wing nuts so they're easier to grab because they give you these nice, you know, handles on this side of the nut. generate electricity well here it is I have it tilted up um, I will uh, include at the end of the video which mounts I used and the material list that I bought from Home Depot um, when we get ready after the controllers put in we'll take this wiring here it's very close to the pre-wired on the roof we'll just plug it right in there and then we'll have power down below into the controller. Uh, but this is a pretty slick system. And uh, this is what it looks like if I'm tilted up, trying to get the sun from the door side of the trailer. Okay, this is what it looks like stowed. And uh, as I mentioned before, this is probably going to be the majority of the time. Uh, I have some nice air space underneath, not too much, but enough so that we're traveling and we're charging as we're driving. Uh, we can hopefully uh, keep the back of the panels cooler because as the temperature of the panel rises, it becomes less efficient. So if we can make it more efficient while we're driving, uh, all the better. And that's it. That's the installation. As I said, I'll go over all the materials that I used uh, and share all of this. So if you have a trailer like mine, a Rockwood 2608 BS or the equivalent Flagstaff, uh, you'll know what to do. Uh, but I'm assuming that Rockwood does a lot of the same uh, prep work, uh, putting uh, backing plates in the roof so that you can just screw right into them. This is cool. This is a good installation. I'm uh, very confident that it's going to work well. So the next step, the controller. And as soon as we get the controller in, we'll go ahead and videotape installing that as well.